Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I am going to do a week of black and white cards. I just got um, something different. So I'm going to do three cards this week and they're all going to be just black and white. And this is the first one. Um, this isn't my idea, in fact none of them are my idea. They're all off Pinterest and I've just changed them a little bit to make my cards. So for this one, we're going to be using the ooh, stamp set Butterfly Gala. And we're going to use this butterfly and the sentiment, thank you very much. For the card stop, you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth and folded in half and I'm choosing to use white a black um, piece of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths to sit on top a white piece of five and three no five and a half by three and three quarters a piece of DSP this is from the butterfly gala a uh, paper in celebration which you'll get free when you spend £45 or more on celebration which is due to end soon mind you by the time you watch this it'll be finished sorry and then a strip of black to cut out this trim here so to get started oh and you'll also need some scrap white which I didn't bring out but I'll use this right we're going to stamp the butterflies right the butterflies usually come together the big one and the small one come together oh, can you see that there on this one I'll do it on this one on the one I'm going to use I've actually cut off the small one just means I can't return it to stamping up not that I want to to cut them it's quite easy because there's such a big bit of rubber between the big stamp and the little stamp and all I did was follow it the shape of the butterfly of the big one and cut it and there we have that one and then just because I like to I just trimmed off the bottom of the smaller one get rid of them so there we have the small one and the big one and they still go through the punch as you'll see when I punch out these butterflies using the butterfly punch so to get started we want three of these butterflies so with my VersaFine Onyx ink, black ink I shall stamp out three butterflies Just put them to the side for now. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment, but I'm going to leave it's not stuck on. I've just put it in place so I know where to stamp my sentiment. And I'm using that thank you so very much which is in the same stamp set ink it up 
remember if you're using photopolymer stamps please use your stamp pad um, stamping mat I don't have to because I've got a thick pad of paper plus my glass mat underneath to give it away so I'm going to stamp that right over to the left That's come out very nice. Clean my stamp off. And that's the stamping done. Let's put that to one side. Right, we need to cut out this lace a bit. So I'm using these delicate lace edgelets. And I'm going to use that one. So I'll bring up the big shot. And what I'm going to do is put the straight edge to the straight edge of the um, paper or card and so it don't move I shall tape it down and put it to the edge of my big shot and crank it through and then crank it back So we need the big shot for today. Uh, that will lift off. That will lift off. Get my brush and just brush out the bits. One clean dye. Put it back in its packet. That has come all out of there. No one. Oh no. One piece. Two pieces. Right. Let's get rid of these bits. And this will stick underneath the paper. I've just put it along the line there. So what I should do is glue this. How much do I need to glue? And then stick the paper on top, right along the edge there. That's it. And with my paper snips, snip off what I don't need. And there we have our little decorative bit. And then we can actually glue this on our white card. Now you need to take this right to the bottom of the card. So what I do is stand it up and that way it Fits perfect. And then we should glue this on 
onto our black piece. And glue this onto our cup. In fact, I've got the wrong card. Excuse me a minute. That's the wrong kind. <laughs> Couldn't find where I put it. This is a uh, half of an A4 sheet and I folded it temp ways but we're actually going to use it like a book. So instead of open like that, which we would this kind of card, we're going to open it that way and that's it. So I'll glue this on here the right way up. Open up that way. Right on the inside piece, which I never got out, but I've got a piece here. I got the little butterfly and did some um, butterflies on the inside, small butterflies on the inside. Just get a block. Stick that on there. And all I did was stamp six butterflies. So I stamped one right in the corner. And then I stamped one either side of its wing. the same this corner one there and one there so that's I think that looks quite nice give me stamp We can glue this inside. I don't want to rub that corner down yet. That's it. smudging my stamping. Right, put that to the side, bring out the punch and we will punch. I'm going to cut this off a bit. reason I did that, I don't want to waste paper by punching little butterflies in it when I don't need them. So, line this up. Like that. 
and punch it down. Same here. Line it up. That's us finish with that one. Right, our three butterflies. Right, bring the card back. All I did with these was push up their wings. And they'll be ready to glue but first of all we need to get some mini dimensionals pull up a dimensional and cut it in half get your butterfly and put a half either side of the fold Do the same on the others. Let's put it either side of the fold. reason I do this is so that the wings stay up. When you put a card with a butterfly on it with its wings up in an envelope they will go flat when they go through the post. But if you put these on, yes they'll go flat down like that but as soon as they come out the envelope they will spring back up. So what we do we get a bit of glue and stick them down, I'll take off the backings of the dimensional, stick this towards the top at an angle and press it all down. Hold the body down first once that's dry, put the wings down. So, some glue on. Take the backings off. And I'll put this one down here. the body to stick first and then press the wings down. I'm going to do the same as the third one. Now this one we actually stick in the middle of the card. Body down and then press the wings down. As you can see, all my wings uh, just come up by themselves, really. You press them down, they just spring back up, which is what we want. Put them away. Right, now what we've got to do is some gems. Got, oh. got to have gems on the card. 
so I've used two lots. Um, this one, I put five of these gems down a body, but they come in a uh, three, four, five. They're on a strip, so I'm just going to cut up five. And then just pick them up and place them on the strip. So, help with what was in the middle. There you And then I got three black ones, which are also on a strip. them in this corner. And there you have it. Card number one in black and white. Hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up. Can you see them? Yeah. If you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and uh, press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. Hope to see you again soon.